Hey there, good looking at join me for this metabolic conditioning workout, focusing on the lower body. But listen up, your abs are going to get on the fun as well. We start with a booty band glute activation series, and then we'll move into a core strengthening workout and then finish off with our lower body metabolic conditioning workout. Now listen, in the Metcom, we are working compound exercises so that you move as many muscles as possible for one single exercise. Now, all you'll need for today's workout is an optional booty band and a cloth one if you have it, as well as one heavy dumbbell. And heads up, this is also day 10 of our Ignite Challenge. Welcome, challengers. All right, gather your equipment and let's go get warmed up. Hi there, welcome. My name is PJ Ren, and hey, I think I'm going to be your personal trainer for this workout. <laughs> Actually, I know I am. Listen up. If you have a fitness watch, maybe turn that on. Let's get ourselves situated with a squat to get ourselves warmed up. Feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out, and sink the bum back and bring the arms forward. Great job. When we sink back, we want those knees tracking with the toes and then keep the chest lifted. So we always start a workout with a warm up, not only warming up into the joints and the muscles, but we're also getting ourselves mentally prepared for the work about to be done. Now we will also move into a further warm up, that glute activation series I mentioned in the intro. So if you have a booty band, we will be using that in a few minutes. If you don't, no worries. I think you'll still feel those glutes of yours without one. Let's do two more. One more. Excellent, let's keep those feet wide, hands light behind the ears, push the booty back and hinge forward, doing what's called a good morning, learning that hip hinge, because we'll be doing some deadlifts during our Metcon dumbbell circuit. Pull those elbows back, shoulder blades got a little pinch to them, and then the gaze is just ahead. Two more. Last one. Great job. Let's bring those feet in hip width now. Step back with your left leg, and if you're able to, plant the knee all the way down. If not, bring it as low as you can. Open up towards that back leg. Step up, right knee. Right hand comes back. Follow your hand with your gaze. Maybe you're here. The knee bend isn't feeling good for the knees today, so that's where you'll be but you're still adding that T-spine rotation and really opening up the hip. Four more. Last one. Beautiful, some hamstring swings for me. Bring the hand up, get the leg as high as it feels comfortable for you. You just wanna feel a dynamic stretch from behind the thigh there. Let's do two more. And then the other side. So for the first part, we have that glute activation series. No repeat, we just have one round, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds recovery. Last two. And one. All right, so let's start that. Get, if you have the booty band, you're gonna place it on. The higher up it is, the easier the exercise. So you can. I'm gonna have mine just above the knees, but you can have it around the calves to make it a tad harder, around the ankles to make it even harder, and under the feet to really challenge yourself. Now, we wanna start on one side of the mat, Push your hips rear, give me a quarter squat. And then from here, we're taking two side steps and then back. Now, when we do the side step, we want those knees and toes tracking straight ahead. So as I step out, I'm not allowing this one to cave in. Keep going, my timer is on silent and I need to hear it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so sink down, stepping out wide, feeling that activation in your outer hip muscle. And then you've got that neutral spine. Good job. Nice and slow, don't rush this one. Whew. 
One more. All right, take yourself down, keep your band on, on your left side for me. Elbow underneath the shoulder. All right, now feet are stacked and the knees are ahead of you slightly. From this position, I want you to lift that top knee up and then lower. Top knee up and lower. Now, if you are intermediate advanced and want to increase the intensity, you're going to lift the feet up as well as the upper body and do a side plank clamshell. Woo! And this really gets the intensity going and gets that fire going in the hip. So you choose what's going to work for you. Two more. Last one. All right, other side. So we'll start with the feet on the ground. Our first setup though is getting that elbow underneath the shoulder. That's gonna protect your shoulder joint. From this position, knees are ahead of you slightly, feet are stacked. Open up the knee, but when you open up, you're not rolling onto the back hip, okay, or the bottom hip. Now, if you want to add a bit more, you're going to lift the foot and the upper body up to side plank and then lower. This one, if you find it challenging, get the booty band off because it is really effective even with no band. We're on our backs in about 10 seconds. Two more. Last one. All right. Feet are close to the bum. Feet, knees, hip width apart. Arms down by your side. Pushing through the heels, you're going to lift the hips up without lifting and exposing the rib cage. So you're going to keep the rib cage kind of knitted. Squeeze through the glutes only and then lower. Here we go. Let's go. Now the entire time you're pushing the knees out, activating those outer hip muscles. We're getting the motion through the glutes. We're not just jamming the hips up and really opening up the ribs and moving through your low back. It's through the glutes. When you get to the top, a little squeeze, pause for a breath, and then slowly lower. Moving into on your forearms, knees apart underneath the hips. Taking the left leg, straightening it out, leading with the heel, lifting the heel up towards the ceiling for hip extension and then lowering. Let's keep those hips squared. You can take that gaze just to the top of your mat and let's go. Press the heel up and lower. Up and lower. Now you can come onto the hands. If you'd like, just don't hyperextend your low back. So you're not throwing the leg up and losing that spine of yours. You will feel the opposing leg, so that right hip for sure. In fact, I feel it more than my working one. So that right one's stabilizing, the left one's extending. One more. All right, now, we are still staying with that left leg when the timer goes. We'll lift the leg out and get some pulses, and this is where you may want to be on the forearms. Whew. Enjoy those 20 seconds. Let those glutes recover somewhat. All right, let's come down. Maybe try being on the right forearm and on the left hand. Straighten the left leg and lift it and pulse. I find having myself on one forearm and the working side leg staying on that hand, it helps brace myself and keeps my hips quiet. Woo! Well, those glutes are fired up. <laughs> Woo. If you need a breather, take one anytime. Last 10 seconds.
time. Woo. All right. We've got those two moves now with the other leg, and then we'll, we're done, and we'll move into our core series. So you can be on. Try it on the forearms to begin with. Really get that core recruited so we don't overarch the low spine. Extend the right leg out. Flex the foot. Lead with the heel. Press up. And then if that feels good and you can maintain that core control, come up onto the hands. That gaze is just past your mat. Leg is straight. We're moving to the hip, extending it, firing the glute up while our left side stabilizes now. My heart rate hasn't even hit a hundred and I'm sweating <laughs> time. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Woo, I am sweating hard. All right. So we've got those glute pulses and then we're done with our booty activation series. So let's take our left forearm on the ground and plant that right hand on the ground. However, that right knee is or elbow, pardon me, is bent. Extend the right leg, lift it up as best as you can figure it's parallel to the floor and then pulse. Moving again, just through the hip, not the knee. Last 10 seconds, hang in there. Three, two, one, release. Woo! Oh boy. All right, let's take that booty band off. Thank goodness that's a new no repeat, huh? <laughs> I think I think people would be leaving the channel if I said, okay. One more round. All right, we're moving into our core series. For those of you that are in the Ignite Challenge. This is part of our push-up. So in that Ignite Challenge, we've also been perfecting our push-up, and we will continue to for the full 15-day challenge. Right now, this is baked into your workout, so there won't be accessory work after this. What we're focusing on now is that core control, so that when you lower, and more importantly, when you press back up out of your push-up, you're able to keep your spine long. We're starting with a plank, and then we're gonna layer on that plank as we go. So heads up, if the plank is challenging enough, you're gonna stay with that plank and not layer on as we move through this uh, series. All right, from the knees, if you need to modify, we're on the forearms. We're taking it into a plank, nothing fancy, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds recovery. All right, let's get set up. We're going in three, two, one, and hold. So again, be on those knees if you need to. Try not to clasp onto the hands. I want the power and the muscle contraction to be coming from the core, not from the upper body bracing. Gaze is at the top of the mat. time. Okay. So 15 second recovery. Now I'm going to layer on for this next round. I'm extending one arm out and then the other arm out. Again, you can be on the knees to do so or stay with the plank or base move. Here we go. Let's get set up and reach it out. It's almost like you're trying to tap someone just ahead of you. Feet are apart. That's going to help you keep those hips squared. And yeah, you're going to feel your hips because <laughs> a plank is a real active exercise for the lower body in addition to those deep core muscles. Time. Whew. All right. Now for this next plank, I'm going to alternate a leg lift. If you're on your knees, it'll look like so. You'll just alternate one leg up at a time. All right. Again, it's optional. Stay with the plank if that's where you're at. Here we go. Lifting up, not overarching the low back. <sighs> Trying to keep the hips down so we're not lifting the hips and the leg at the same time. <sighs> Time. 
time. Whew. All right, so maybe you know where this is leading to. For this fourth version, I'm going to lift my arm and the opposite leg at the same time in the plank, and then the other side. Optional, or you can stay with the plank or one of the other two. So from this, we're gonna lift arm and leg, lower. Arm and leg, lower. Can be on the knees as well. This is our last plank, so if your shoulders are getting a little toasty, just tell those shoulders, less than 20 seconds. Time, whoo. All right, sit yourself in a V-sit for me. We've got two variations of training your deep core muscle. One is prone, another one is holding this static V-sit. So I want everybody to join me here. If you don't have osteoporosis, you're gonna take that left arm, reach across, tap, and add a bit of rotation. If you have osteo and shouldn't be doing any type of twist, you'll hold that static V-sit. What we don't wanna do is allow that low back to round though. Keep the chest lifted. Whew, and this is our last ab move. So again, challengers, we're working the core here for that perfect your push-up. Time, Whew, good job. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're moving into that Metcon dumbbell workout next. Okay, in less than 30 seconds, we are going to begin this circuit with a sumo squat to deadlift. So some compound moves here in this circuit. You'll use that heavy dumbbell. Place it down low, feet wide, toes turned out. It's the same squat as we did in warm up. Do squat, drive up through the heels, and then just like we did the good mornings, but now it's a deadlift because the dumbbells are in the hand. Here we go, shoulder blades pinch, drop it down, drive up, deadlift. So when we do the deadlift, it's a slight bend of the knee and then we're moving through the hip joint. When we do the sumo squat, it's now just a slight um, hip move and a bigger knee bend. Now there's a lot of upper back that needs to be recruited so that when the dumbbell comes forward, especially during the deadlift, we're not rounding that back. Now if you find that you don't, you're not, your coordination is kind of off, so we are going to be doing these sort of compound exercises throughout, no worries. We have multiple rounds, <laughs> so you'll really know it by the end. <laughs> Time. No dumbbell for this one. Working into the muscles and getting that heart rate up further. Alternating curtsy lunge. Take it down as deep as you want. And a jumping jack or a no jump jack. Ready? Feet hip width. Go. Down. Down. Jacket. Good. So this crossover lunge, or curtsy lunge, really getting into the glutes. Jumping jack, getting the lateral hip and getting that heart rate up. You can choose a no jump. Whew. I'm feeling my quads though. Forget the glutes. <laughs> Two, time. All right, grab that dumbbell. Place it in the left hand. From here, we step back with a reverse lunge left leg. So feet hip width apart, go down as deep as you feel comfortable for your lunge. Then you'll come back, kickstand, hip hinge, and do a dead lift, shoulders are squared. If you want to ramp it up even further, you can go right into a single leg deadlift. I like a kickstand version myself, but I also know there are a lot of you that like that one-legged version. When you do the kickstand, you're really trying to put as much weight as you can on that working leg. The kickstand is simply what it is. It's just kickstanding, helping with our balance a bit, guiding the movement somewhat. Finish it. All right, other side. So dumbbell in the right hand now. 
Okay, we start with the lunge. You take it down as deep as it feels comfortable for your knee joint. It might be here and then kickstand and deadlift, all right? Just stick with it, especially those of you with sensitive knees because motion is lotion. We have to keep those knee joints lubricated, keep the muscles strong around the joint. It's a very limiting life if you don't work your knees. We have one more move in this series and then we take it back to the top. All right, dumbbell out of the way so we don't trip on it. Standing in the center of our mat, side lunge, side lunge, gate swing. You can also step out for your gate swing and not jump out. Let's try it, me or me. Side lunge, side lunge, be together, gate swing, reach it down with a hand. Side, side, gate. Now I'm gonna add more jump now with my side lunge. When I do the gate swing, using a different arm, if you can remember <laughs> to tap the ground. If not, <laughs> trust me, it's not gonna affect the exercise. So a lot of outer hip, inner thigh, and then getting that heart rate up. Time, okay? So from the top, our sumo squat to deadlift. Let's take the feet wide, toes turned out, hold on to that dumbbell, pull the shoulders back and down, tighten up into that mid back and core, squat first, deadlift next. Now, if you're really fancy and you wanna go deep with your sumo, take a look, I'm here, and then I bring the dumbbell down for my deadlift. Time, crossover lunge, jumping jack, low or high impact with me. Start with your feet hip width apart. Now, mirror me, step back, knees close to the ground as you can, then the other side, then jumping jack, good. So one, two, hop, nice. Low impact is just simply tapping. Maybe the arms are coming to shoulder height as well. Don't rush this, especially as I said, if you're one of those people that not that coordinated, because that's me. <laughs> that's why I keep bringing this person up, because that's me, <laughs> time. I'm so not coordinated. All right, reverse lunge to deadlift. Left hand, our left leg steps back. <laughs> so I'm not trying to call out anybody, I'm simply <laughs> acknowledging those of you that are like me. <laughs> so let's start with that reverse lunge, taking as low as you can. Now kick down the left leg, push the hip back, bend through that right knee, and go. <laughs> I am always covered in bruises too because I am so darn uncoordinated and banging limbs into walls. I recently actually kicked myself. Have you ever done that? I actually kicked myself and I have a bruise from here to here. Oh man. It takes talent. <laughs> That's what my husband told me. It takes talent, babe. Thank you, LH. All right, we got the other side. 
feet hip width. We start with the lunge. Again, take it as deep as it feels comfortable for the knees. Ready, set, let's go. Down, kick stand, deadlift. So we have all these compound exercises and you may be wondering, what exactly does that mean? That just means that we're moving multiple joints. So as more joints that you move, the more muscles you're recruiting. That's why this is called a metabolic conditioning workout or a Metcon. It's typically, typically focusing on multi-joint movements, compound exercises with short rest. So you get a heart rate response Whew. as well as the muscles burning. Time, all right, side to side lunge. Okay, and then you've got that gate swing, which you step out, and then the next time you'd step out leading me the other leg. So I'll show you, I'm gonna do low impact if you wanna join me low impact. So go side, side, feet together, gate swing. Now side, side, now this leg's gonna step out for gate swing. Good, or add the jump. And then you can add whatever arms feel best for you too. When we do that gate swing, upper body's lifted, head is up, driving the knees out, toes turned out and sinking it right down. One more. Whew. All right, we are halfway, you. Yes, we are. We are halfway. Sumo squat to deadlift. So, feet shoulder width or a bit wider, toes turned out, okay? You can start with the dumbbell here for the squat. Lower the dumbbell, deadlift. So it's four rounds of this, you guys, and then we're done. My challengers, it's a little longer workout. Yesterday was a short one. See if we can get some depth with that sumo squat if you've got the dumbbell up. So see if you can get the elbows coming to the inside of your thighs. So don't rush it. Finish each move. Last deadlift. Drive on up. All right, curtsy lunge to jumping jack or maybe you've opted to do the low impact jack, okay? Everybody starts with feet, shoulder width or hip width apart. Mirror me, give me a curtsy, each leg, and then lower high impact jack. Almost there. Woo, shake out those legs. All right, dumbbell in your left hand, left leg's going back for that reverse lunge. Remember to use those legs too to pick up the dumbbell. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Just thought I'd do one little nag. Left leg back, as deep as you feel comfortable. Kickstand, hip hinge. You're gonna rotate that palm so it's facing your body during that deadlift. Shoulders are squared, don't let that left drop. Even though it's got the dumbbell, you're using a lot of muscle control, mid, back, and shoulder, so that doesn't happen. One more of each. All right, Whew. right hand. 
So our setup is feet hip width, and we're gonna step back feet hip width so you've got a good base of support for the lunge. Here we go, three, two, one, right leg back. Kicks down, left leg deadlift. Working the dumbbell in one arm, it's called unilateral training. It fires up a lot more oblique in your waist muscles. So we're continuing that core strengthening all the way through into this dumbbell circuit. Time, all right, side to side lunge. Gate swing in the center, again, can be low impact. Let's start in the center of our mat. Mirror me, go my side. Now the other side. Now feet together, step or jump out, sink it down low. Do it again, side, side, down. Woo, my glutes are almost done. How are you doing? <laughs> we just gotta tell those glutes of ours one more round after this. And then they'll get a stretch. One more of each. Last lunge. Woo, I almost tripped there. Time. All right, this is it. Use those legs to pick your dumbbell up. Okay, now sumo. That means legs wide, toes turned out. Maybe the dumbbell's up here to go deep with your squat. And then lower it down, hip hinge for your deadlift. You're gonna look up, not letting that head drop. I also find when you look up, people tend to round their upper back less, which is what you want. You don't wanna round that upper back. Last round, you guys. We know it now, perfect that form. Breathe with the move. Keep the tempo. Time. Whew. Dumbbell off to the side. Curtsy lunge, so remember the curtsy. Feet hip width, or maybe you like a bit wider shoulder width. Mirror me, step back, curtsy. Other leg, good. Now. Low impact jack or high impact jack, go. Hopefully you got some good music cranked on your end. One more jack, Whew, time, Whew. all right. Left hand with the dumbbell. Feet hip width now, again, we wanna keep it hip width when we step back with that left leg for our lunge. Here we go, shoulders back and down, three, two, one, lunge it. Kickstand, deadlift. So, get an ankle, knee, hip, and then all the muscles that cross those joints. And then all our stabilizers in our core, erector spinae, upper back, mid back, shoulder, tricep, bicep. Cool, huh? <laughs> That's why this is also a functional workout. <laughs> And time. All right, other side. 
So right hand with that dumbbell now, feet back to that hip width, shoulders back and down, pull the belly button in, fire up that core. Let's step back with the right leg, lunge it as deep as you like, and then deadlift left. Push through the heel, stand all the way up, and then back to the lunge. Time. All right, dumbbell out of your way so you don't trip on it. Whew. This is our last exercise. Side to side lunge, add that gate swing. High impact with me or take it low impact if you'd like. Go, down, down, gate swing. You're going wide and sinking it down. Good, land soft. Takes more muscle control. Be cat-like. Don't kick yourself like I do. <laughs> Metaphorically and physically. <laughs> okay. Last 10 seconds. Time. Woo. Nicely done, you. Take a look at that heart rate. Huh? Well done. Let's bring the heart rate down a bit, grab a sip of water, and then we'll stretch out all of those muscles we just trained so hard. All right, while we're marching and getting the heart rates down, if you don't have a yoga tie or an old neck tie or a bathrobe tie in the area around you, I want you to go march and grab that in addition to a small pillow. So I have a traditional yoga strap. However, as I mentioned, an old uh, bathrobe tie as well as an old neck tie work wonderfully. So grab those. We're gonna get in some really lovely hamstring stretches and the tie really does help. All right, feet apart for me, toes turned out. Inhale, arms come down. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. All right, using a wall and that pillow I asked you to grab, you can also use a side of a couch too. We want to position the pillow right up against a wall Take the left knee on the pillow and then slide the left laces on top of your wall, side of couch, side of coffee table even. The closer your knee is to the wall, the more intense the stretch is going to be in that quad. Now from this position, lift yourself upright, inhale that left arm straight up and exhale and lean away. It's a super, Deep stretch for that quad. Woo, and it feels so nice. Uncomfortably nice. <laughs> That's where we want this, uncomfortably nice. As you hold it, you're gonna feel that first tightness subside a bit. And by all means, if you feel like it, encourage the muscle to go a bit deeper, moving yourself closer to the wall. But don't always feel like you need to. Sometimes it just feels nice just to stay where you are and feel the sensations in your body. All right, now let's turn our left side towards the wall and just slide that leg out. It's the easiest way to get in. So now we've got the right side. So we want the right side of the hip, side of the knee, closest to your anchor point. Come on the hands, bring the laces up of that right thigh, and then step forward. Whew, this side's tighter. Now, once you've got the stretch, lift up, inhale that right arm straight up, separating ribs from hip, and then lean away. Okay. 
and release. We're just rotating our right side back to the wall to slide that foot out. If you have tight hips, you might want to sit on the pillow we were just using. Have your stretch tie close by. Let's take the right leg in front. Grab onto that right thigh with the left hand and use that to anchor yourself while you inhale the right arm up and lean away to get into the side of the body. Back to center. Let's bring that left leg in front now. Now our right hand's going to grab on. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, side bend, feeling that left lateral side of the body stretch out a little deeper. Release. Sitting on the very edge of your pillow, or maybe you're on a yoga block too, bring the legs out wide. Flex the feet, press the back of the knees into your ground, and then walk the hands forward. Now, if walking forward is not available to you, you'll keep the hands behind you to help press yourself up so we're not rounding in that low back. And you might even use the arms to help press yourself forward from there. Stretching into the groin area, into the adductor muscle. Good, keep holding. Couple more breaths. And back up. Taking yourself onto your mat. Grab your tie. Place both feet under the tie and extend them up. And you want to be able to just grab on the ends of your tie and let the back of your upper arms kind of rest nicely on the floor. And you're just feeling the length happening in both the legs. Lift the head up, slide the chin in, lengthen the back of the neck. Maybe you even prefer to be in bare feet or at the very least take your runners off for this series. Keep your left foot there, drop your right foot to the ground. Now from here, you may want to wrap the tie lightly around the hands. Your knee can be slightly bent if that feels better for you. And once you've got the stretch, straighten that left leg. I might have got my left and rights mixed up. But basically, you want one leg in the air and the other leg on the ground. And if you'd like, close your eyes. The leg that's on the ground, bring that back underneath your tie. Drop the other foot. Start with it on the ground first. And then get the desired stretch that you need for that hamstring and then straighten the leg on the mat. Feet on the ground, tie off to your side. Right ankle crosses over the left thigh. Thread the needle, bring your hands behind that thigh, pulling in, feeling that stretch into the glute. If you want to take it a bit deeper, you can walk the hands on top of that left shin. And foot back to the ground. 
other leg. Bring the knee in, hands come behind that thigh, lining that right knee up with the outside of the right shoulder. And then again, if you want it a bit deeper, hands walk on top of the shin. And both feet on the ground, have the mat width, bring the arms in a T position, palms up, just some gentle windshield wipers, letting the knees come side to side. Do about four times, and then on that fifth time, let's bring the knees and hold them there. And maybe from here, you're gonna turn your gaze in the opposite direction of the knees. Back to center, other direction, gaze in other direction. And to center, knees to chest, hug them in as tight as it feels comfortable for you, maybe even rocking them side to side. And then roll onto your left side. Use the arms to press yourself up to a seated position. Find yourself back in that cross-legged position, sitting nice and tall. And a big smile on your face because you just did a big workout. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to reading your comments down below. And listen up, you can help this video out in the YouTube algorithm by clicking that thumbs up. Thanks so much. We'll see you next workout. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Join me for this lower body workout. Listen, we are going to hit it all with today's workout. We'll start out with a booty band glute activation series, then move into a core workout, and then finish it off with a lower body metabolic conditioning program with compound exercises so that you move as many muscles as you can. Blah, blah, blah. We are hitting everything. And then in between our big strength um, workouts, we are moving, what am I, ah, blah, 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 blah.